What up guys, we are back at it and today I'm gonna to take you through an entire day of eating. I am currently preparing for a photo shoot, which means I am trying to get shredded. And I'm gonna take you through my photo shoot prep diet. So this is exactly how I eat in order to get absolutely shredded for the camera. I'm gonna show you every single meal. We got five meals today. I'm gonna show you what is in those meals, the macros associated with those meals, and why I'm eating those specific things at those specific times. Remember, if you like this video or any of our other videos, make sure you do me a huge favor, like the video because algorithm, you're you're gonna help us out, we're gonna grow, we're gonna get more videos out to you if you do that, and hit the subscribe button with a little bell to make sure you get notified every single time we drop a new video. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. It's just after six. Um, now I'm gonna sit, drink my coffee, get some reading done, get some writing done, get some creative work done before the rest of the house wakes up. So we got a couple hours before my first meal. Right now I'm drinking a cup of coffee and I just have my green string. So the first thing I always have every single morning is I chug down a green string with 16 ounces of cold water. Then I drink coffee. Usually I have about a half a cup of almond milk, original, unflavored. I add a half scoop of first form vanilla collagen and a little bit, about a half a tablespoon of stevia and then I whip it up and it's an amazing coffee. I'm actually kind of addicted to these. I've always been a black coffee guy, but now I'm absolutely addicted to these. And the macros are super, super low on it. So that right there is, we got 15 calories for a quarter cup of almond milk. Again, I usually use a half cup, which is 30 calories, but I'm on a diet, cutting calories down. I'm sacrificing calories where they matter least, which is usually liquid calories. So almond milk is about 15 calories because I use half of a serving, which is only a quarter cup. I use a half a scoop of collagen, which is only 35 calories and the stevia is not enough calories or the right type of calories to even worry about tracking. So right there we have a 60, no, 45, no, 30. <laughs> not the best at math. 30 calorie coffee. That's amazing. So I'll have another one of these here in a little bit. When I get my second cup, I'll go get the pup, Bubba the Bulldog, and uh, crank out some more work and we'll eat our first meal at about 8 a.m. Until then, I'm gonna get some work done. Right, so now it's breakfast time. Every single morning, I typically do a egg scramble of some sort. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything in this meal. I wanna get some healthy fats. I wanna get my multivitamins. I take my greens and my reds. I like to drink a lot of water with this meal. I typically cook in coconut oil, so I'm getting extra saturated fats, but some healthy saturated fats that are burned a little bit differently because they're multi-chain triglycerides. But I'm gonna get some greens in this. I'm gonna get uh, my glutamine. I'm gonna get my fish oil. I'm gonna get high protein meal. I'm gonna get a little bit of fruit, and I'm also going to get some bread, some a uh, thin sliced whole wheat bread. So by the end of this, I'm getting a little bit of carb, a little bit of fat, a little bit of protein. It's a very filling meal. I like to have one of my biggest meals in the morning for a few reasons, but the main reason is because it sets me up for the day. And a lot of times people laugh at the whole, like breakfast is the most important part of the day or most important meal of the day. But it's somewhat true because quite literally, if you have more of your calories in the morning, studies actually show that you have a higher maintenance caloric intake because your energy expenditure increases. You eat more food in the morning, you're gonna have more energy, which means NEAT and BMR is gonna go up naturally. Whereas if you have a lot of your calories at night and you're gonna go to bed anyway, you're not utilizing those calories as well. This is meal one, high protein, moderate carb, moderate fat. A lot of filling based, high micronutrient based foods because I want to start my day off right. And uh, yeah, it's meal one. Let's get to cooking. All right, so what I have here is eggs. I have about 125 grams of egg whites and two whole eggs. And I cooked it in coconut oil, just one teaspoon, which doesn't seem like a lot, but that's five grams of fat. It's really healthy fat, and it's actually plenty to get all of that cooked. Um, I cooked spinach inside of that so I can get a little bit of micronutrients. I have one slice of toast, which is very depressing, but I'm gonna cut. We made some adjustments, so I had to cut some carbs. I was having two slices. I have 100 grams of blueberries, so I can get a little bit of fruit. I also have a Opti Reds drink from First Form, which is uh, the company we work with. 
work with. And it's also got five grams of creatine monohydrate and 10 grams of glutamine, which really is just there for gut health, no muscle building properties or anything like that. I got a dish full of uh, vitamins, minerals, fish oils, stuff like that. I have multivitamin, I have an adrenal support, and I typically like to put it in a little dish like this because I have actually swallowed an AirPod by accident. I used to just throw them all in my pocket, and then I would go out and just reach in my pocket when I had my drink, and I'd throw it all in my mouth because I would leave the pantry with a bunch of vitamins in my pocket. One day I had one headphone here, one in there, and I didn't know it until I swallowed it and Siri started bugging out on my phone only for me to realize that the AirPod was in my stomach. Very awkward to go to the Apple store and get new AirPods and tell them why I need new AirPods. But nonetheless, this is breakfast, high protein, a lot of micronutrients, a little bit of carbs, and again, this is a higher calorie meal. So what we have here is 464 calories, 35 grams of protein, 21 grams of fat, and 36 grams of carbs. This is a good, two to 300 calories less at least, if not three to 400 calories less than what I would normally eat for breakfast when I'm in a maintenance phase. But right now we're in photo shoot prep, so it's time to, to sacrifice some calories and yeah, let's dig in. Mm, low pro tip too. Reduce sugar, Heinz ketchup. You will drop 80 to 90% of the calories normally, lots of sugar drop from that meal, and it tastes exactly like regular ketchup. And sugar-free Baby Ray's barbecue sauce are the two best sauces, way better than the Hughes guy or anything like that, trust me, clutch, especially during the diet. So now we are on the way to the warehouse. It is about 9.05. This is a little bit late for me to get to the office. Uh, today I ate breakfast a little bit late because I had to take a coaching call. So I went on a walk, completely fasted. Yes, there's nothing wrong with fasted cardio. It's not better, but if you like it, do it. So I went on a fasted walk, took a coaching call with a client, got back home, said goodbye to my beautiful daughter as she went to preschool. Typically, I would eat a little bit earlier and I would eat breakfast with my daughter. Uh, but today, like I said, I had to take a coaching call, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to. So ate breakfast, now I'm heading to the office. We'll have another meal in about two hours and then another meal about two to three hours later and then it's time to work out. So I typically space out my meals every three to five hours. Lately, it's been almost three hours on the dot and uh, I have five meals a day. So I have breakfast like you guys just saw, I have meal two, then I have a pre-workout meal for meal three, then I have a uh, intro workout shake which we'll explain when we get to that point of the video. Then I typically go home, have a post-workout meal with my family which I will show you guys tonight. And then finally before bed I have a casein, a, a slow digesting protein source, uh, kind of like a dessert which I will show you guys as well. So you guys are gonna see all five meals for me today. Uh, right now I'm heading to the office with my boy Bubba chilling in the back the bulldog and uh, yeah, see you at the next meal. Meal two going down. We got barbecue shredded chicken from the crock pot and white rice, which I actually cook in bone broth. Really, really good way to make it just taste better. Think of like top ramen. I don't know why I think of that, but it literally tastes kind of like top ramen. And it's also a way to get a lot of good extra nutrients in there because bone broth is extremely healthy for you. So you can do chicken or beef bone broth, but I cook it in that instead of water. It doesn't add much calories at all. So I don't even track it because I do it every day and it's so, so minimal. And it's a variable that doesn't change because I have rice every single day on this meal plan on this cut that I don't worry about it. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a recipe that is actually on my Instagram, so you can follow me at Cody McBroom. It's one of the reels, and uh, I show you exactly how to make it, but we got almost a full red bell pepper per day cooked down with sweet baby Ray's sugar-free barbecue sauce. We have white rice with chicken bone broth, shredded chicken. This is about 125 grams. So I take it and, and split it up throughout the week. Essentially what I do is take a big bulk amount, put it in the crock pot, and I just divide it by five and it's, and it's close enough. Um, and then garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. And let's see what the macros are on this specific meal. We got 33 grams of protein, four grams of fat, and 39 grams of carb for 322 calories. So not a very big meal, 322 calories, but it is filling because it's high protein. It is chicken, so it's low fat chicken breast. Next to zero sugar because it's a sugar-free barbecue sauce, which is a really good way to keep calories low, sugar low, but still get a lot of good flavor. So what I'm gonna do is really just mix it up after I cooked it up. This is a good protein carb anytime meal. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in two or three hours for my pre-workout meal, which I'll catch you in the next scene.
alive, let's hit the dance floor Don't work too hard, my break a backbone Return of the Mac, the king is back though Corvette and cash, I never lack those She saw the stone, you know how that go Fatality, my diamonds that cold Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke Knock on the door, she at the back, bro All it really take is a little taste Island girl, blue eyes with a little bass Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir Wanna vibe it to get away Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way all right, meal number three. This is my pre-workout meal. It is 1 p.m., so I got two hours before I train, which in my opinion is about the ideal time to eat before you lift. You can do about one to three hours prior to lifting tends to be the most ideal. I like to go with right in the middle, 2 p.m. I like to have a lot of food in my stomach, but I like it to be fully digested before I lift because I, I don't like training on a completely empty stomach, but I also really don't like being really full or having food churning in my stomach still when I'm going to lift pretty heavy. So this meal is actually one of my favorite meals. Uh, I love it, it's amazing. I have the recipe on my Instagram, so if you wanna check it out, you can go to my Instagram for this one as well, just like the last meal, and it'll be in a reel. And this is uh, proats, so it's protein oats. So what I have here is 55 grams weighed of dry oats. I have a teaspoon of baking powder, just so it bubbles up and cooks. Then I have a teaspoon of stevia. Then I have a, a whole bunch of cinnamon. I just dumped that shit all over it. And then I have a one and a quarter scoops of whey protein from First Form, the, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Well, we got the protein, we got the starchy carb for the workout. We got cinnamon, which is a natural glucose disposal agent and also just tastes really, really good. And then a little bit of baking powder just to fluff it up. Then last but not least, I throw some almond butter in there to slow the digestion down. So what we really want with a pre-workout meal is pretty simple. We want protein to help us spike muscle protein synthesis and delay muscle protein breakdown during that workout, which is also why I really like a Greek yogurt with whey protein in it and oats thrown into that. Do like an overnight oats. That's another really good pre-workout meal because we have the combo of whey, which is gonna spike muscle protein synthesis faster and more effectively. And then we have casein, which is gonna slow the digestion rate down a little bit to help delay muscle protein breakdown during that workout. But nonetheless, this is what I'm doing right now on this cut. Again, this is oats, almond butter to slow the digestion down of those oats. So I have a good amount of carbs, but then I have some fats, which are gonna slow the digestion down. And there's protein and there's also some good amount of fiber in the oats, which all those things are gonna slow the digestion down. So I have a good sustained rate of absorption of these carbohydrates for better energy, better pumps, and avoiding those blood glucose drops where you just feel like you get this really big rush of glucose and, and sugar or just pure starchy carb and then it just drops off and you get hyperglycemic and you just feel like shit and bonk in the middle of your training session, which we don't want. And for this meal, we have 32 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat and 52 grams of carbs. I did have this at a little bit higher carb and protein because oh, at the beginning of the cut, we had a little bit more calories to play with in that priming phase. But now that we're in the cut, we had to drop it a little bit. So we lowered it quite a bit. I'm gonna smash this, get some more work done for the next two hours then I'm gonna hit back and shoulders and you will see what I drink during my workout which is an intra carbohydrate and essential amino acid shake which I'm going to take you through and show you exactly why I drink that during my lifting session all right now we're in the middle of my workout and I have a shake this intra workout shake is highly brand cyclic dextrin which is a carbohydrate it's a powdered carbohydrate that essentially just bypasses the gut a little bit faster so you can have a faster absorption rate than most things like waxy maize or some different glucose solutions that people use during their workouts. But Gatorade works as well. It's an intro workout carb. I also have essential amino acids, not branch chain amino acids because some research shows that there's much more of an advantage when you have essentials and we have all the amino acids versus just branch chains, the few isolated ones. Uh, then we also have some sodium in here. To make it not taste like absolute shit, I put crystallite, two packs in this big one liter bottle. And the reason I have this is basically just to fuel my workouts. There is a limited amount of research on well-trained athletes or bodybuilders using these, but there is some research that shows lower cortisol levels and better hypertrophy. Placebo or not, I feel a lot better when I have this. I feel more hydrated. The sodium helps me as well. So I consistently have this as long as I can. There's just 25 grams of carbohydrates in this and no calories in the rest of it. So this is fuel my workouts and we're going to get back to a shoulder and back workout now. We'll catch you at the next meal. <laughs> Yeah, when I blow up, I'ma soar high like Peter Pan In real life, be living out my dreams If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land Whole wrist covered up in ice Dealership, never ask the price I hit the molly ball with my dogs Yeah, I swipe it once without thinking twice Cause this what I was made for Man, I know this what I came for On a big stage, couple thousand people And they do whatever I say so Have chicks that color the rainbow Yeah, chains on me like Django Be a long way from my tank low Cause my Tesla charge for them bank rolls And I'm grinding money on my mind and I'm headed to the top
Just got done. Time to head home, get the final meal of the day. We had a shoulder and back day. I also added some cardio because right now I am cutting. So we're doing two days a week of high intensity intervals. It's one minute sprint on the assault runner followed by a two minute walk. That's my rest period. Absolutely smashes me. Really good way to burn a few extra calories, get your heart rate up, get some high intensity intervals. Um, I don't recommend doing this too often because at the end of the day, if we do this too often, we're just gonna burn out. It's very similar to high intensity training in the gym when we are resistant training. So at the end of the day, if you do too much, you're using the same energy systems, the anaerobic system, and it can just be overkill on your nervous system. So. Now we're gonna head home. My day is done, lifted at three, almost 5 p.m. I'm gonna head home where the family is gonna be eating and we're gonna have a post-workout meal. So I will catch you at the dinner table and you'll see what I'm eating for dinner. Let's go. It's time to go home. Come on. Come on. Come over here. You ready to go home? Sit. Sit. Hey, that's not sit, you little shithead. He doesn't like to go home. Now, we have our post-workout meal. My beautiful daughter is eating, what do you got here, girl? Pasta, yeah, pasta. yummy. Yummy pasta. Oh, we gotta turn that washer off. What happened to that? Yeah, it's it's just very loud. Is that gonna keep beeping? Yep, it is, hold on one sec, sweetie. Hold on, everybody's saying it's fine, and then I just listen. <clears throat> every time I just listen, my eyes and close my eyes like this. And every time I have a blood fly and then I have one eye and I have two eyes now. I always have the one eye to do. Wow. Okay, well, we got a lot going on here. So, post-workout meal, I just got home, just got done lifting. Uh, my beautiful daughter, what do you got here, girl? Pasta, She's yummy. got pasta, yummy pasta. It's chickpea pasta. Yeah! With a little bit of grass-fed butter. Yeah, and fed it to fall and fall. And a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Bon appetit. I have 200 grams of cooked whole wheat pasta, no butter, a little bit of salt, no, that's my carb for the meal. I got a five ounce steak I'm going with top sirloin every night for this. Yeah, uh, just everything five ounces. is fine. Everything's oh, fine. You can oh, ignore that. It's beeping again. It's okay. And then we got about a cup of broccoli, and I'm gonna read the macros for you here. We got 45 grams of protein, 19 grams of fat, 51 grams of carbs for 555 calories. Let's try again. We're gonna try that one again. Sweet Baby Ray sugar-free barbecue sauce with this. It's amazing, unbelievable. We got we'll a Diet Pepsi. It. We are having my daddy and me, and mom's going to get her nails done. It will be pink and flowers. Pink and flowers, getting your nails done. Yeah. And we got a great post-workout meal here. I think, yeah. we should, I think we should dig in. I'm hungry, are you? No, you're not? She she's started eating without me. Dave, we are doing the, the, the we're playing hide and seek. Okay, and then we're gonna play hide and seek. So we got, Post-workout meal, 555 calories, high protein, high carb, relatively moderate fat because I'm eating a steak. Yeah, I'm and, uh, and then we're gonna play some hide and seek. So we gotta go because we gotta eat some meal and then uh, and then we gotta play hide and seek, right? Yeah. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Last meal of the night. This is something I eat almost every night. I love this meal actually, as funny as it is, but it's, it's protein ice cream. So we have a frozen bowl of chocolate casein proteins. We got 1.5 scoops, so one and a half scoops of chocolate casein protein with four tablespoons of powdered peanut butter. Uh, chocolate powdered peanut butter, you can do either one. And when I'm at maintenance, I will use real nut butter, like almond butter and frozen berries to add to it because I have more calories to play with. But during the cut, this is something simple, filling, gives me a good amount of slow digestive protein to keep me going through the night, not only as a satiety factor, but keep me full through the night, but also keep amino acids in my bloodstream to improve muscle protein breakdown and synthesis to improve recovery, which has been shown in research and has been used by bros and bodybuilders for decades now. Last but not least, I take a few supplements to help me sleep. So uh, sleep is unbelievably important when we're going through a cut because your sleep will be impaired by a calorie deficit. But if you don't take care of that, what's gonna happen is inhibition's gonna lower, therefore cravings go up, stress goes up, recovery goes down, adherence goes down. It's just a bad bag of worms. We don't wanna uh, sacrifice our sleep in a cut and it's one of the things that is going to be compromised. So we gotta do everything we can to improve it. So I take a few supplements to just recover my nervous system, my muscles, and really just improve my sleep. A couple quick takeaways, guys. I know this was just mainly just a, a video of my meals and, and so you guys have the calorie breakdown of this because I know we're adding that up. Uh, this meal is 50 grams grams of protein, five grams of fat, and 15 grams of carb for 315 calories, which is a pretty low calorie meal. 
Uh, but really what I wanted to do here is, is show you guys how I eat. And this is how I eat every single day on a cut. I will change my diet on Saturday and I'll be more flexible just adhering to my total macros. And on a maintenance plan or a less serious, longer uh, sustainable fat loss approach when I'm not going hard for a, a photo shoot and trying to get cut as fast as possible, I might not even track on Saturdays and it's just a free day. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. The main thing I want you to take away from this is number one, simple ingredients, simple meals, simple foods really is extremely helpful when we're trying to cut because it's way easier to track, measure, and control the variables. Number two is that controlling the variables factor. All the meals I'm showing you today, I'm gonna repeat every single day, six days a week outside of Saturday. And the reason I do that is not because a meal plan is better than flexible dieting or hitting your macros. It's because I have my macros and then I create a meal plan to hit those macros. And it allows me to easily repeat that every single day. And the less variables there are within that diet, the easier it is to make sure my body is progressing and for me to make adjustments. Nonetheless, it also lowers stress. I don't have to worry about trying to play macro Tetris or figuring out my foods or anything like that. The more serious the cut, the more serious the diet. So I don't want you guys to watch this either and think that you have to follow a meal plan. But if you wanna get serious or if you have a busy lifestyle like I do, sometimes a meal plan is better. So if you have any questions whatsoever on macros, meal plans, the food choices I selected, whether you can swap steak for chicken, which you can, or eggs for Greek yogurt, which you can, protein is protein, or any questions whatsoever at all, make sure you drop a comment below. I would love to chat with you. I would love to help you out personally. Uh, last but not least, like the video so that people keep seeing these videos and we can, you know, do what we gotta do with the algorithm on YouTube to keep people watching these videos. And last but not least, subscribe to the channel. We wanna make sure that you see all the videos that we're uploading every single week and that we can continue to educate you and many others out here on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next week.